to enjoy the World Cup 2026 without any hindrance, a man named Alex took the initiative to construct an underground shelter in the forest a year in advance. Successfully evading his wife's persistent complaints, he achieved the shared dream of 30 million married men. Alex found the most beautiful place in the forest and began his venture armed with a shovel. Fortunately, the ground was sandy, facilitating an effortless excavation process. Alex, eager to showcase his skills, recalled the wildfire from the previous year that had left burn marks on the forest wood. Unfazed, he employed ergonomic techniques to measure and trim the wood, ensuring its usability. After digging a hole 1.5 meters deep, he skillfully placed six wooden poles weighing 100 pounds into each hole one by one. He then chose a reliable-looking 200-pound wooden pole and began torturing it. Despite the strain on Aaron's back caused by the heavy wood, he diligently carved grooves and affixed them to the main beam, driving in 20 centimeters rivet nails, their chill mirroring the coolness in Aaron's heart. Completing the fixation of three beams in succession, Alex promptly procured a rainproof cloth, meticulously draping it around the shelter. This precaution aimed to prevent sand from cascading down. He was determined not to face an untimely resting place 60 years too soon. Alex proceeded to construct walls, directly filling them with wood. Though these trees weren't centuries old, they promised a comfortable slumber for Alex for the next 17 or 18 years. His father-in-law joined in, enticed by Alex's promise that, come World Cup time, he could also inhabit the shelter. Together, they erected another wall using smaller timber for the roof, firmly secured by relentless nails. Alex received an oil drum from his father-in-law. His father-in-law swiftly departed after half an hour, completing the roof. He couldn't resist celebrating, showcasing the shelter's robust structure. The second roof followed. To enhance privacy, Alex surrounded the shelter with sand, rendered Alex nearly invisible to his wife's 8x scope, albeit the dusty atmosphere inside. Alex tackled the outward-facing wall, ensuring sufficient lighting by filling sides with wood. He integrated insulation cotton, securing it with relentless nails, thoroughly wrapping the wood around the window. Inconvenienced by travel, Alex dug a passage at the door, forming a protective fence with tree trunks to prevent mudslides. In less than half an hour, Alex had created his kingly realm, a spectacle accompanied by swirling dust. Wearing a mask for protection, he made a clever choice in using the window as an exhaust duct. The next day, Alex repurposed tan koalas as bed legs, ensuring meticulous measurement for his height of 1.86 meters. The wooden bed legs, fixed with relentless nails, were softened with ancestral mats for added comfort. Continuing his woodworking, Alex fashioned a table with a 90-degree lotus leaf fixture, affixed to the wall for easy retraction. A foray into the forest for additional wood saw Alex wrapping the door frame with boards, filling gaps with insulation cotton. Assembly of logs into an entrance door, connected with lotus leaves, showcased Alex's attention to both both aesthetics and thermal insulation. With meticulous care, scattered ancestral grass seeds evenly on the roof, fostering hopes of vibrant green grass come next spring. Continuing his efforts, he meticulously fashioned the steps at the entrance. The excavated soil was directly employed to cover the roof, with Alex collecting wood to sharpen the steps' bottom, securing them on both sides. Plastic bags served as a barrier between the support structure and the mud wall, preventing soil erosion. The ground was thoughtfully adorned with tree trunks, preventing the inadvertent tracking of mud indoors. Although the staircase comprised only three steps, it consumed most of Alex's day. By this point, hunger had set in, prompting Alex to unpack the bread and chicken breasts he brought from home. He poured oil into a pot, fried the meat, and then adorned it with butter and onions, creating a delectable burger. In an effort to enhance the shelter's aesthetic, Alex secured wooden boards along the eaves. His precision was unparalleled, with each step measured meticulously using a tape measure. The entire space beneath the eaves was adorned with wood, presenting a flawless appearance that immediately instilled a sense of security. The following day, Alex turned his attention to the interior mud, addressing the proximity of the bed board to the ground. Contemplating digging deeper, he wisely paused, avoiding an unwelcome sandstorm. Securing a piece of wood beside the bed, Alex meticulously leveled the mud-covered ground using wooden boards, securing them with unyielding nails. Each corner was carefully beveled to ensure a seamless alignment between the boards and the ground. 
Wooden boards along the eaves receive the flame gun treatment, subjecting them to high temperature carbonization for moisture and insect resistance. Even the entry door underwent carbonization, its brown lines gradually intensifying, bestowing the entire shelter with a luxurious retro ambience. Alex then embarked on a fireplace upgrade, dismantling and remolding it from an original oil drum. Employing his hometown bricklaying skills, he staggered the brick placement at an advanced level. The bricks, once laid, were covered with iron sheets. Upon the fireplace's dry completion, an outer wall layer of cement was applied, with any gaps diligently filled with glass glue. This not only improved the fireplace's thermal insulation, but also eliminated concerns about carbon monoxide. Given the shelter's limited space, Alex ingeniously crafted an outdoor bed board, slotting the man into the space between the bed board and the door, reinforced with tree stumps. Despite its seemingly diminutive size, the bed was just right for a 1.8 meter tall man. Post bedding arrangement, Alex didn't forget to clean the floor. Subsequently, he affixed a camera to a tree by the door to observe the local wildlife. Now equipped with a new fireplace at home, showcasing his culinary prowess became a necessity. Placing a small pizza in the fireplace, a mere half hour later, the fireplace returned a delicious treat. Life within the shelter was evolving into a promising and fulfilling existence.